in Vancouver. I am just sat by the, well, the ocean, looking at the mountains. Um, I just went to find a gluten-free bakery, but it was closed today. So I'm gonna go explore a supermarket because that's what I like doing. And then I'm gonna go and attempt to find someone that does gluten-free fried chicken that I read about. So I will take you with me. Should probably also add that I am quite jet lagged and this is coffee number three this morning. I mean, it's 20 past 11, but I feel like it's night time. It's very confusing. This was from Kitts Beach, which was a really cute um, little cafe, which kind of reminded me of home in a weird way. Um, come all the way to Canada to go somewhere that reminds me of home. But yeah, so um, I've had that. It's perked me up a bit. And yeah, right, right. I'm gonna start walking and I'm gonna do this. Let's go find some food. So I spent my first morning walking around Vancouver in a kind of jet lagged haze found some really cool sights and I just couldn't get over how amazing it was that the mountains were just everywhere I looked I even found some snow in the distance although apparently this was the worst winter in 50 years so uh there was not much snow at all but anyway I came across Bee Fresh which is in the Kitsilano area and I had to have a look around because you know how much I love a supermarket they had loads of goodies in there like some really cool snacks protein bars lunch options and I thought I just wish we had this at home so I picked up some goodies from there and then I had to gobble which was a place that i'd heard did gluten free stuff and actually the whole place is gluten and dairy free um i had that awesome chicken salad bowl then that afternoon i went to lemonade which was the gluten free bakery that i'd heard of and oh my word it was literally like stepping into heaven it was just incredible look at all those pastries and cakes i really didn't know what to have but then i saw the lemon meringue pie and i was like yep that's for me so i got this cinnamon swirl pastry i got an apple and rhubarb galette and then I got a lemon meringue pie, of course. And we sat in one of these really cool little pop-up dining areas that they have. And we enjoyed those. And then for dinner, we went to Meat on Main. Now, this is a vegan restaurant. And they really sold this special to me, which was a risotto. And it was so good. Had big flavours, really delicious. And I'd definitely go back there again. So the second day of my trip, we took a road trip. We hired a car and we drove out of Vancouver to Squamish to the Sea to Sky Gondola. And let me show you how we got on there. So we're on a gondola. Where are we Squamish? Squamish, about to be catapulted <laughs> into the air. Wee! <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my God, why is it moving? <laughs> So beautiful. Hello. Got my sexy crumpet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my snacks for the uh, the ride. Pizza cracker bites. As an update, I would give these a solid 9.5 out of 10. Very delicious. So after putting on my big girl pants and getting back down the mountain in one piece, we went into Squamish, we parked up and we went to Taka Ramen and Sushi, which was actually really good. They had loads of gluten-free options, including soy sauce. They had gyoza, which I'd never had before. And it was all really, really tasty. And then we headed back on the road, back to Vancouver, ready for a good night's sleep. On day three, we visited the gluten-free Epicurean, which I was so excited about. And honestly, I think this might have been one of the absolute high points of my trip. I still can't get over how many gluten-free bakeries Vancouver actually has, but I think the gluten-free Epicurean probably stole it as my favourite one. I'll show you my haul from there in a minute, but we did get plenty of goodies to take home, which I was really excited about. Today, I'm eating a traditional Canadian breakfast of gluten-free pizza and coffee. Message to the UK. This is the size the gluten free pizza should be. Just holding your Cheetos. <laughs> 18 grams of protein. Oh my god. Looking at I miss you, Amy's. 
And after a quick knit around the supermarket, we headed to Freshy where I grabbed some lunch. Okay, so today we went to the gluten-free Epicurean and I spent way too much money. So the most exciting thing was that they did these gluten-free brioche yeasted donuts, which are glazed and they are amazing. And I ate one for breakfast and then I bought another one. And I also brought a cinnamon sugar donut, a, what's it called, an Anaimo bar. Yeah. And then we bought an Anaimo bar, which is like a Canadian thing um, with like chocolate and like a custardy thing. And I don't actually really know what's in it, but it looks and smells nice. So I'll just eat that. And it's got cinnamon sugar all over it as well. Got a chocolate chip and rosemary cookie, which just sounded really different. And my final buy from there was this savory Danish pastry which today was like a cheese and red onion pastry and she said it tasted like red onion soup. So I am excited to try that, but it was a really cool shop. It had loads of like awesome cakes and stuff, but then it had like flowers and it had pizza dough and all sorts of that. Looked great. And then we went to a supermarket and I found some gluten-free mac and cheese, which I should not be this excited about, but I cannot wait to try it. To kick off day four, we visited the breakfast table, which I'd heard a lot about, and the gluten-free waffles did live up to expectations. They were seriously good, and they're cooked on a dedicated fryer, so they're totally celiac safe, and the staff there were great. Then we wandered down to Granville Island and hopped on one of the little ferries over to Kitsilano to go to the gluten-free bakery that was closed on day one. But I made sure it was open this time, and we got a panini, which was delicious. And then we decided to go for a hike around Stanley Park. We got a little bit lost, but we found this really cool viewpoint and then headed back to downtown Vancouver where we had a virtuous pie. Now they do vegan gluten-free pizzas, which are so good. I really enjoyed this. And this amazing cannoli as well. The waffle cone is gluten-free. And after that, I hit up Duke Fried Chicken. We were really close by and I've been looking forward to this since day one. The fried chicken lived up to expectations. It was absolutely delicious. On day five, we took a ferry over to Bowen Island, which was absolutely beautiful. We took a lovely walk around the lake, sat down, played some cards, and they had a few little cafes there. Wasn't sure it would be gluten-free, but actually there were quite a few options. You could, in this little spot, they had these gluten-free rice bowls, and this tofu satay one was absolutely delicious. It was just really nice to sit by the water and chill for a little while. Today's experience is a London fog, which is Earl Grey, milk and vanilla. And a lot of space from the giant tea bag. <laughs> I don't understand it, but it's kind of nice, so I'm rolling with it. So today we have been to Bowen Island, um, just on the ferry back home, but we found some cool little bits, had a nice little walk. And yeah, now we're going back to Vancouver. Um, it's my last day here today, so gonna find something for dinner, chill out, and try and sort out my bags before I go home tomorrow. That night we were feeling tired so we walked to Bin for Burger and I was really surprised by their gluten-free menu. They had great knowledge and this burger was epic. Probably one of the best meals I had during my stay. And then the next morning before my flight home, I popped down to Granville Island, had a little wander around the market because it was raining, picked up some souvenirs and just really enjoyed taking in all the sights. It's my final day in Vancouver. I'm just having a bit of a wander around Granville Island with a nice coffee that I found. Um, it is very wet currently sat under a shelter. One thing I've been really impressed with here is how good everyone is with celiac and cross-contamination. Um, they had a separate fryer, they had clean free buns, um, they seemed really clued up and lots of places like a bit like home like when you go in there like is it a preference or an allergy um, and they all seem to know what celiac is and even one of the places I went to said they do gluten free sandwiches but when I said I was celiac they were like mm, I probably wouldn't recommend it because of the small kitchen so I found that like quite impressive really. So yeah, so I, my flight is until like half nine tonight. So I'm just having a little wander around, brought some souvenirs. I'm gonna go have some lunch, um, maybe a final trip to the gluten-free bakery, and then it'll be time to head home, which is sad, but with the rain, um, it's been so sunny and now it's really rainy. So maybe it's a good time. I don't know, I'm sure I'll be back, but yeah, finish my coffee and head on back. 
The food options in Vancouver Airport are a bit limited. I did find a couple of gluten-free limited options like snacks and a salad bowl, but I'd probably recommend bringing your own food because I don't know about you, but the airlines always seem to forget about me. Although this time it's probably the first time that I've been catered for both on the way there and the way back. This was a BA flight. As you can see, I had some sort of chicken thing that I don't even really know what it was. And then they also gave me this barbecue sweet potato and chickpea wrap, which wasn't actually that bad. Mm -hmm. 